Hey everyone, welcome to the Social Engineering course here on Cybrary. This is a mini course and I'm your instructor, Ken Underhill. So our objectives in this course is we're going to be performing some reconnaissance of different targets on social media. Now, one of our labs will be a very fake social media profile inside of the Cybrary lab environment. And then we have another lab where we'll take a look at a, another fake social media profile, but one that I created on Facebook. And then we're also going to be performing a phishing attack with the Social Engineering Toolkit, or the SET tool. So same prerequisites that are going to help you. Again, this is kind of a very entry level type of course, but you will want to have some basic understanding of how computers operate, as well as basic navigation skills on your computer. It's also good to have a background in computer networking, or at least understand computer networking, as well as operating systems. And if you've ever taken any type of end user security awareness course, that will help you as well. And specifically, this mini course is targeted towards individuals that are studying for the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker Examination or the CompTIA Pentest Plus exam. So again, this is more of a entry level type of course. However, it's targeted mostly towards, towards individuals taking those exams. So who am I? Well, my name is Ken Underhill, as I mentioned. I'm the master instructor at Cybrary. I'm also an aging professor of digital forensics. I hold a master's in cybersecurity and information assurance, as well as an undergraduate degree in cybersecurity management and information systems. I also hold the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker, as well as the Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator certifications. And also for EC Council, I've uh, reviewed the Certified Ethical Hacker version 10 exam. So I reviewed a couple of modules on that. Uh, before it went out, and then I've also written questions for the CHFI exam as well. So what are we covering in this course? Well, we're going to cover uh, Module 1 here, so the introduction to myself in the course, and then also a brief introduction to social engineering in general. Module 2 is all about labs, so this course is targeted mostly towards doing hands-on work. So we're going to have a couple of labs I mentioned where we look at the fake social media profiles, and then we'll also have a lab where we use the set tool or the social engineering toolkit to go ahead and craft a phishing attack. And then, of course, in this situation, we're going to pretend to be the victim ourselves and execute the phishing attack, execute the document, and then go from there. And then module three is just more of a wrap up and conclusion on the course, as well as some other courses that you want to take a look at. So this course is structured with on-demand video. Um, so that's how the course is delivered. Some of that's going to be labs, as I mentioned, actually a predominant amount of it. We're also going to have uh, assessment. So make sure you download the supplemental resources section. So I'll have some assessment scenarios in there for you. And as I mentioned with supplemental resources, all of the labs have a step-by-step -step guide. So you want to make sure you download those so you can go through the labs properly. So just a quick, pretty easy post-assessment question here. Is it true or false that I have a master's degree in business? All right, so that was a very simple question to answer. Obviously, the answer there is false. My master's degree is in cybersecurity. All right, so in this video, we just talked a little bit about myself as your instructor, as well as a little bit about the course, some of the objectives we're covering, as well as how the course is structured. In the next video, we're going to go over a brief intro to social engineering in general.